Hey, this is Angie from Center Station. With five people living in our home, we get a lot of paperwork that comes through the doors. Today I'm going to show you how I go about keeping that organized and making sure that we don't lose anything that's important and keep on top of everything. So a few years ago, I realized that there was just no way for me to keep track of all of the papers that were coming through the door um, by hanging them up on the refrigerator. I didn't have enough magnets and there wasn't enough space. And if I just left the papers on the countertop, eventually they would get lost, accidentally thrown away, spilled on, or all of the above. So I decided that I needed to get some sort of organization put together in our home so that we would all know where everything is all of the time. Well, at least that's the goal. So a while back, I purchased this basket. I believe that I bought it just at Walmart, just a simple wire basket. And I decided to make a folder for each of us in our home. Let me walk you through it. It's very simple, but it's made a huge difference in our family. And I don't know what, honestly what we'd do without our basket. That's what we call it, the basket. So in this first folder here, you can see it just says current bills. And so inside of here are all of the bills or information that I need in order to um, every two weeks pay the bills. Now I don't keep um, passwords or anything of that nature in here. That's in a different place where only I know where it is and my husband, but um, the actual bills themselves, the things that come in the mail, when they come, I open them and I put them here in this folder so that I don't have to wonder where they are or forget to pay a bill. It, I just know that as soon as the mail comes, it goes right in this folder. Same goes for coupons and other things that um, come in the mail. Like for instance, here's something from Payless Shoes that came. If it's something of interest to me, instead of just putting it randomly somewhere in the house, I put it into this coupon folder and that way when we go to go shopping, I have it available and can quickly grab it out. Um, now, I, in the past, have been a big couponer and would get the Sunday paper, so I have a dis different system for how to do that. And Actually, I'm kind of toying with the idea of going back to getting the Sunday paper and clipping coupons, um, but for now, um, just this simple folder is what's working at our house to keep track of everything. And then, of course, this is me, Angie, and um, I have a folder for me just of important information or things, anything that pertains to me that I want to keep goes into that folder. Now, same goes with Jacob and Rebecca. They have school papers. They have, Jacob has a locker combination, his schedule, anything that's come home, uh, information from the teacher or their different sports and dance activities, anything that I need to keep track of. I write it down in my planner, but I also keep the actual paper so that I can refer back to it. And periodically, I will go through these and just make sure that um, I toss out information that no longer um, pertains to us because the event has passed and um, we don't need it anymore. And so I won't show you just for safety purposes, um, privacy purpose, purposes, what's inside, but um, it, they're both pretty similar. I will show you, she does have a book order in here, and I know where the book order is, so um, I have written in my planner that book orders are due um, on September 26th, and we have the book order form right here so that I can just pull it out and be done with it. And then our baby John also has one. And then there's one here for Joe. So any information or mail that comes specifically for Joe, I make sure to put in here. So if Joe says, okay, do you know where such and such a paper is? He really doesn't need to ask because he knows that it's in his folder labeled Joe. Now, if there are important papers that don't pertain to him any longer in the present tense, but are things that we need to hold on to just for future reference, but you know they're not applicable to right now, we have a different filing system that I can show you at a different time where we save all of those, that important information. That goes the same with um, our bills too, and um, other information like taxes and, and things like that. And then this last folder back here, it's not labeled, but this is for our dog. So any information pertaining to our dog is in this folder, his shot records, his um, 
the, the information about when we adopted him, everything is right there in that folder. So I know that it seems really simple and it is really simple, but at the same time, it's also um, very important because it keeps us organized. It helps us know exactly where something is so that we're not panicking and we have all the information that we need to refer back to at any given time. And I look forward to hearing about your organization ideas as well. So leave a comment down below and tell me what you do for your organization and how you keep track of all your papers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye now.